Hey, Snake Alliance back today. Today we have a Linux Mint 12 LXD edition. Yes, the final one, the good one, the one that's supposed to work and everything. And we'll soon see if it does. So far, I will say that again, so far, I've not had any problems. So that's pretty good for me. Okay, so it's just basic LXD. Fonts are different, icons are different. Like it, so we'll go for that. Right, if you right click the desktop, you get this usual stuff here. So you can go to desktop preferences if you so wish to do so. And change your wallpapers and stuff like that. So we've got Galson Green at the moment. Okay. Or we can have something else there if we wanted to. Was that one? I don't know. We'll just go back to that one. We'll just keep that one. It'll be fine by me. Okay. So you can do that. And also you can do the menu stuff. And you can change the background colour and the text and all the stuff like that. If you've got a wheel on your mouse, like most people, if you press it, you get a desktop one. Just got to remember to create some new desktops, or go to add a new desktop, which is just as good. Okay, and by left clicking the desktop, you don't get anything. Okay, okie dokie. So just get home and computer on your screen, so that's fine by me, I ain't got a big deal with that. Should I open that for you? Yeah, open that for you. See how it is. So that's all right, isn't it? everything's there if it's as it should be. Actually, I do actually like the way it looks, it looks rather nice. Yeah, and now you know I'm not no mint fan at the end of the day, but you know, this one, yeah, it's all right, I could live with it. Yeah, it's all right. On your bottom bar here, or your panel, by the way, <clears throat> you get date, time, year, and month. You get your audio, you get your Ethernet connection, and you get your update shield here. But this has been just been updated. There was two hundred updates. Yeah, you didn't. Yeah, two hundred. Right. One problem I did find <clears throat> when clicking on the panel here, on the update panel thingy, do for what I found was it got stuck. It just went to the screen and just wouldn't load up and wouldn't refresh itself. So I closed it down and done it manually via the menu, and it all seemed hunky dory. So that was one thing I have found so far. Okay, right. We're going to get into it a little bit. I ain't going to go for it too much because there's been a lot of LXD stuff going down recently, so you should know what it looks like. But Mint is a bit different, isn't it? It's Ubuntu based with a bit of mintiness and minty minty stuff. Okay. So the menu, you get accessories. So you get catfish as usual. You get your file manager, calculator. An image writer to make a USB stick, by the way, and only an image viewer in this section. Okay. You also get leaf pad for editing your text or editing your text in. You get determine R, take a screenshot, X archiver, and XF burn for doing your burners and DVD stuff and stuff like that. Okay. But under graphics, you get a PDF viewer, but you also get Gimpy in there as well, which I thought was very, very 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 good okay so we'll just wait for Kim to load up for the first time you know it always takes a long time the first time you ever do it but like and have a girlfriend isn't it really I suppose anyway so there you go Gimpy comes up all nice and fine that's good for me right next internet Dropbox as standard Firefox is your web browser of choice here with Pigeon Thunderbird for your mail some of you might want to swap that for something else transmission and XChat too so we'll open up the browser, okay, and it should take us, in theory, in theory, to their page. But right, we'll just go and check this out here. Just want to show you if Right, it's a hybrid ISO this time around, so if you want to put it on, on a USB stick, you can just use the DD command or GUI of it, and it'll copy it over onto your USB stick. So that's pretty good. Your search engine also is Quack Quack Go, or Duck Duck Go. It's a very, very nice one. I like it very much, thank you. Right, what else? Release notes is all here, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to go through them, because you can download it yourself and have a good look. But, as it's LXDE, it will run with 256 of RAM. Now, whether you can get the GI to run on it, I don't know. I haven't got a machine that small that's free to test it on at the moment. But yeah, anyway. Right, you can upgrade, okay? If you've already done the release candidate, you can upgrade. But this is just a fresh install. I rather found them easier to do fresh installs. And there's all your mirrors here for wherever in the world you want to be, you know, and download it from. And some people send some stuff there. So, yeah, that's that bit out of the way, okay? So that's your browser. Next in the menu, we have Office. Now, being this LXDA, you only get Abbey Word and G Numeric. If you want to, you can get OpenOffice. You can get LibreOffice as well. It's entirely up to you. It's only version 286 of Abbey Word as well, whereas the Ubuntu's are now using the next version along, which I rather like, because we're getting nearly free now. Whoa, yeah, super duper. Okay, sound and video. Xhow is your music player here. It's also your music recorder if you want to, okay? And I'll show you what I mean. If we go to, where are we? Edit and Preferences. 
and we go to plugins. Well, here we go. There is lots, lots, and lots, and lots more plugins here for Excel at the moment. I've just been checking some of the new ones out. So you can go to get Stream Ripper, which will actually record streams for you. Some of you may like that one. Okay. Uh, where else were we? Oh, pause on screensaver. So you've walked away, you've done this once on the phone, screensaver cuts in, it'll automatically pause for you. So that's pretty good. And also the alarm clock one. So only plays the music at times of day that you want. So if you're the sort of person that leaves your computer on all the time, you could use it as a, you know, alarm clock. Or just to remember that you've got to go to school to pick the kids up, otherwise you'll be too late. Uh, the lyrics for the wiki, so to get your lyrics, you can go wiki wiki and sing along to your songs. Uh, LibreVox and Last of Him Dynamic Playlist is also here, Jamando's here, iPod support, so just plug and go, plug and go, plug and go. Oh, and it also comes with an equaliser, as you should know. Okay, okay. The equaliser is here, so I'll show you that. Bloody, bloody, blah. So you just do that, what you want to do. I do like an equaliser in a music player. It's one of the main things of Rhythmbox I don't like, is you don't get any, yeah, any, 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 any. Equalizer. There is one available, apparently, and I got it to work in the last version of uh, Ubuntu I used was over a year ago, but it won't work in this one, so never mind. Anyway, if you want to import your CDs, and you chuck your CD in, did you? As you do. You can import into FLAC, AAC, OG, 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 or MP3, and or WAVE, basically, anyone you want to. So actually import everything for you now, and it should get all the names and track names and everything for you as well. So that's that, yeah. Bit of Excel, bit, bit of a big up in for Excel I'm doing there. Right, you get No Men Player, VLC as well, and XF Burn for your burning, yes. So there will be four. System and Tools, right. There's a lot here that is specific Mint, isn't it, as well. So some of you may like it, some of you may not. But you get your firewall configuration is here too, and a domain blocker for the www.xxx.com things that you don't want your kids to see. So yeah. And there's, of course, a backup tool. Yay! Under Preferences, right? Additional drivers, all yes, all usual, usual, usual. Right. I found it's really nice and quick to use. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm not a convert, but if you've got an older machine, you like the look and feel of LXDE and you want it mintified, so you get a nice big repository for all your stuff, and it comes with all your codecs for playing your videos and Flash and your MP3s and everything else, this could be the baby for you to have a look at. Right, unusually for me, I'm going to give Linux Mint 12 LXDE because it hasn't crashed on me since Friday. I'm going to give it, what should I give it? 91%. Sneaky Linux going out. I'll be seeing you very soon. Bye bye.